Hi, it's Tracy from Tracy's Creative Place. I've been making some albums recently and I've had a lot of people ask me how I make my actual binders and books. So I'm gonna to put together a quick video here to show you exactly how I do it. Now, I, the good thing about this is at any point you can stop it uh, and, and craft along with me. Um, but I do suggest that you have a pencil and a piece of paper ready to take down the score line details for the spine. So, now I'm going to give you the cut list of what you need. So here we have the spine <clears throat> and it's two and three quarters by eight and a quarter. This makes um, a book that is just bigger than eight by eight. Um, so that, you know, you can use your eight by eight papers without wasting too much. We need just one spine. Sorry, just one spine. Um, we need binder covers. That's the front and back of the book. And as you can see, they're eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. So we need two of those. This is the spine, I've already pre-scored it, but this is the spine and it is 10 and a quarter by eight inches. Okay, we'll get to the score lines when we need to. This is the inner covers to cover up all the workings of the album that we're about to do and it's 20 and a half centimeters or eight by eight square. You need two of those and I have two cut. We also need pages. Now, when it comes to the pages, I don't do single pages. I always do pages that have a pocket in the end on, of the album part. So you can, uh, so when they're joined together, you can fit more things inside, things that you want to collect, more photo mats, uh, tickets from shows you've been to, or tags, or whatever you want to put in them. So that's that. We also need two A3 pieces of card. Okay, now, that is to cover the two binder covers and the spine. So if we begin with that, also you really do need to, need to use red liner tape for the whole construction. You will use a lot of it, so, but it's the only thing that'll keep this album together for a long, long time. And also um, you can use, when it comes to the page designs and the pages, you can use uh, double-sided tape or glue, but for the construction, you must use the red tape. Okay, so I've started already by attaching some red tape. The first thing we need to do is to join the two A3 pieces of card in order that it will fit your binder pieces and your spine on as well. So you can see it's way bigger than it needs to be. So we need to overlap it somewhat. And I've overlapped mine by getting a ruler and measuring, I think it was 13 centimeters or five inches and I've attached red liner tape all the way down and I'm going to take off the backing and add the top piece onto it now this red liner tape if you can get into the habit of when you put a piece of red liner tape down either using a bone folder whatever you want to do finger it's just as good really push that tape in so that you're removing all the air out of it and the air is the thing ultimately that gets behind your pages, your spine and loosens it. So if you can remove that as you go and get into the habit of doing so, um, then we're on a winner. So, oh, I apologise, I've just knocked the camera. So here we go. You remove all the tape backings. This stuff gets everywhere, but it's a necessity. And it is pretty boring watching somebody take this off, but not a lot I can do if I'm doing it from scratch. So I'm removing all the tape backs. And at this point, when we when we join the A3 to it, it really honestly doesn't matter if, if it's straight, if it, yeah, it really doesn't matter because you'll see why in a minute. So basically, I'm just gonna join as best I can and really push it down, okay, really. Turn it over and really push those tapes in. Get the in out of where you've just joined. Okay, now, if you look at this, on the side here, we have a join, okay? And so that means if we look at the back, the join is here. Now, I never like to put my spine across that join. I like to put my join on the back of the book. It gets covered with your papers, your beautiful things. You'll never see it. So... I've got my spine, I put red tape on it, as you can see, we do need it to stick very well. So off comes the backs, oh gosh, this takes forever. 
make sure it's burnished down if it's not burnished down so well which that piece wasn't you don't always get the backs off cleanly but if it is burnished down well you can get the backs off pretty good and especially if you're trying to rush and make a video it takes forever There we are. There we go. So now, spine. There's my join. There's my join on the back. So I'm going to pop this spine bang in the middle. I'm going to have a look and try and get it so that the top and bottom are around about the same, um, you know, the same distance there as it is there. But if it, if you don't, honestly, not a stress. Push it in, make sure it works good. Now, the other thing I always do is make a spacer. And all this is, is the exact same chipboard I'm using, which at this moment is uh, 1,500 microns. Um, I join two pieces together and this will give me a spacer. It doesn't matter how big it is, you know, lengthwise or anything. It's just two pieces. And I always write on it what the microns were and then I can keep it for next time. Um, sometimes I use two you know, 2,000 microns. It, it just depends on what I've got at the moment, but we need one of those. So what we're going to do is get the binder, which is the side part. We're going to remove the tape off the back, hopefully quickly. Um, and we're going to use that spacer as a guide to give us some room either side of the spine so that when the book actually folds together it's got the space to be able to do so without cracking the card now the card i'm using is actually very very cheap card from the range it's their own brand black card it's 210 gsm the amount of things that we're going to put in this book when we decorate it and design the pages will give it a lot of thickness as it is so it you don't need to be using your 300 card well i don't i find the 300 card no matter 300 gsm card no matter how good it is still cracks and it annoys me so i won't use it okay when it comes to putting in use your spacer line it up against the side of your spine take your binder cover before you drop it down, just eyeball it, check it, you've got it top and bottom lined up with the spine and push it down. Okay, and that gap there is what's going to give you the, the room to manoeuvre your book upwards. Same thing again here. Okay. Remove off the tape. I think I might do this video in two parts. I'll get to the point where we're ready to start the spine and I will stop it and carry on with the second part because otherwise it sometimes gets too big to be able to upload in messengers to send to people if they want it. So there we are. Second part of the binder, use your spine and your, your spacer. Push it tight against the spine. Actually, I might turn it around and work this way because I find it easier to do it from the right. So, there we are. Push it right flush against line it up top and bottom, drop it down. You've got the gap there then. Okay. I'll turn it back around so it's the right way up for you to see. Now, at this point, what we need to do again more red tape um if you look at either end here i've got quite a big gap i'm just going to trim it and it doesn't matter if it's straight or not straight or so it looks like it's got the same amount of black card gap all the way around and the same on this side too i'm not the greatest cutting with a pair of scissors but all this will be covered up and you won't see it anyway by the time you finish this binder. Okay, so, right, we're at the point where we've got, we've chipped away at the edges, took some off. Um, now it's, put a piece of red tape 
right across from one side to the other, across the spine, the whole thing from one side to the other. Top and bottom and on both sides. There we are. Once you put it down, burnish it really well. In. I also like to put a piece down either side of the spine there. It helps to uh, grip the spine when it's time. So that'll do. Also, now what we need to do is put a piece of red tape all the way along the outer edges of the black card. Okay, and burnish it really well. All four sides. Finish it all down, like I said, get used to it and carrying on doing this and uh, yeah, yeah, when it comes to the spine it will never fall off. Right, so what we need to do now is sort out these corners here. What I want to do is cut, and you might ask me, well why on earth did you put the tape on? Well, if you do it this way, that means that the tape is right to the very edge and it will stick. Cut the corners off, all four, leaving yourself around about an eighth between the end of the binder and the black card there. So just do all four. <laughs> Don't worry if it's not that precise, it really doesn't matter. But as long as you've left yourself a little bit, okay, all the way around the edge, you'll get a neater corner. So I'm gonna trim this one. If you really want to measure it, go for it. But I don't see the point myself. And it takes too much time. See that one? I've gone a little bit too far away, so I'll retrim it. Like so, all four sides are now done, and now it's time to remove the tape from all of it again. All the way around all the card, all the way around all the chipboard. I do apologise for this bit, but it's a necessity. <laughs> a bit boring watching people taking tape off of things, but there. There we are. Okay. Tape's off all the way around. So now what you're going to do, and I hope you can see this, because my camera's not too high up above. What we need to do is now bring this over and cover it. So if you pick up your binder at the top like this, try not to touch the sticky, stand it up gently on its on its base, so and press the chipboard in towards the desk or whatever you're working. And if you can see, the bottom part of the black thing then lies flat against the desk with the back card there just pull it over a little bit you're not actually trying to glue it at that point and you gently starting in the middle where the spine is bring this over and stick it down and go outwards gently try not to crease it if it does then try and pick it up and move it take the creases out but really and truthfully I think you might get away with covering it up here, same thing, pick it up, long side, lean it against the, the desk, lean it forward, you're actually showing the card where it now needs to be, you know, it's been a flat piece of card and now it needs to move over here, just gently smooth it out to the edge from the middle, there we are, press it down really well. Now, it comes to the corners, where we left the, the little tiny bit on the edge, just push that little bit 
squish it in just squish it down on all four sides squish it in you're going to end up with a nicer corner that way so I'll do that one again just push it in and push that one in I've left a little bit more on that one but it really doesn't matter and then you do exactly the same what you've just done with the long sides with the short sides it's a little bit easier this one because it's not so long the card's not so long and you get to the point where you're able to just do it yourself and if you see now if you have a look at the corners it gives you a neat corner because you've crushed those little edges in okay at this point now I like to put my ruler in and gently and then you can see if you've pushed the card down tight enough Sometimes it ripples there. If it does, just give it a push. Doesn't matter, you're gonna cover that bit. Gently lift up the card and the sides of your folder because this is now where it's going to <clears throat> give it where it needs to be so that it can fold. So once you've got it where it's, when it's, where it's going, pick it up, gently, gently. Once you've got it together, Run your fingers down the spine at the side. There we are. It will be very stiff at first, but as you work with the book and you design it and you put the pages in, it will ease out some. Okay, so if you can see on the back now, that is where my join is for the, um, where I joined the A3 card. And that will sit on the back and you'll never see it. So, so far so good, we've got the binder done. I'll stop the video here and then we'll start again with the spine.